So from the very, very beginning, I, I learned control your feeling and how to act with cheetahs when they, you know, are semi-wild and when they're acting like that. So immediately I got big confidence of how to act and, uh, and, and how to handle it. So I got like a very intense experience the first time. I was for the first time going to meet uh, without any enclosure, just freely uh, meet some individuals. And there was this one male who was named Shady. I was just also very calm. And uh, I just looked at these cheetahs and I was like, wow, they are such beautiful animals. As I was looking at Shady, I could see that he was kind of going around me. He was gonna circle me and we just get this eye contact. But then when we looked at each other, he was like, nah, she's all right. I do feel very proud that I feel that the animals uh, do listen to me and, and respect me. It taught me a lot because I can look at a cheetah and I can tell you, yeah, it's calm, but it doesn't want you to approach it. But well, this one is, is a little bit feeling a bit uh, defensive right now. When I was training new stuff and they're like, but how do we know that? I'm like, no, you don't know. I can't see that. You just have to feel that, you know? Uh, so that was uh, also an interesting like, aspect of things is that connection where you know what the animal feel. So starting to work with wildlife he was a dream come true and every single time, you know, some animal that needs help, whatever, then I'm always sad that it needs help, but I'm always happy to help it also. So yeah, they're very, very special to me. I sometimes say that the cheetahs are my kids.